the reason singing is so hard. Most people take singing for granted. They think that it's simpler than it is. Singing a song really well is more than just knowing the lyrics of the song. Singing is a very complicated mathematical process and it's a physical feat. Why is it mathematical? Because singing on pitch is a very mathematical thing. You have to be super precise with the pitch that you're hitting. And you have to be super precise with the timing, the subdivisions of time that you're singing in. You have to fit right. And if you don't have perfect pitch and perfect rhythm, you will sound off. The closer your pitch and rhythm are, mathematically correct, the nicer you will sound as a singer. People take that for granted and think that singing is easier than it actually is. So why is singing so difficult? Let me give you an example. Let's take a song like, uh, I'll give you one of my original songs. Now I got a story to tell This one about this girl She be making me feel like I've never done before Now that, I haven't even gone into a difficult range It's just in like a sort of comfortable zone of my voice the, To copy that is actually very difficult Why is it so hard? because there are so many notes that you have to get accurate. There's so many pitches you have to hit right, or notes, and there's so many possibilities in time where you could go wrong, how you could sing off time. The pitch and rhythm has to be just right. And that's only two elements. There's other elements too, like vibrato, like your tone, like your pronunciation. There's all these other elements that can be trained as well, and volume. But for now, I'm just gonna talk about pitch and rhythm as the main ones that people don't understand how difficult they actually are. All right, here we go. Now I, so just in the first line, there's four notes. Now I, you wouldn't think so, right? Those are four notes you have to learn to hit with absolute accuracy. Otherwise, you'll sound off. Now I, you could go on a piano and measure those notes. And if you can't find them on the piano, that means I'm singing wrong. All right? And not only do you have to execute those notes right, you have to execute them quickly. It's fairly quick. Now, uh, that's like not even a half second and I'm done. Got a story to tell. Seven notes. So can you imagine if I gave you seven words to memorize? That would be a bit difficult, right? That's what, that's what memorizing notes is like. It's pretty difficult. If I gave you seven words to memorize, you'd probably be like, Oh, like I can't remember them all in a row and it wouldn't just be like a sentence it would just be random words that's how hard that's the kind of difficulty it takes to remember notes accurately the people that you see that are very good at it there are people that are naturally gifted at it but you can't compare yourself to them if you're not naturally that that well gifted you can't compare yourself to the people that are because that's what a gift is it's a gift is someone's born with a genetic capability to do something to a higher level without so much assistance from my mentor okay so um, so just like there's people gifted at maths right but not everyone is gifted still people still have to learn right so uh, let's let's um, so there we've got the seven notes it's like stringing together seven random words let me show you got a story to tell and then that's the mental side and the other side is the physical aspect of being able to control the muscles controlling your voice and your body your breathing and your mouth to be able to create those sounds accurately so it's the combination of the mental oh, can I remember those seven words slash seven notes and can my body physically handle the task and the stamina it requires to sing them all accurately stable without being shaky etc and make them sound pretty you have to give singing the respect it deserves. I only sang one line. Now I got a story to tell. One line of a song, it's approximately 9 plus 4, 13 notes. Or 7 plus 4, 11 notes, right? Now imagine the whole song. The stamina it takes to sing the whole song physically. And the mental capability of memorizing a whole song. Memorizing all those words 
for that whole song. The words as in, if a note was a word. Now it's easy to memorize words because we all learn English growing up and then that's something we take for granted. We all learn lyrics because we grow up learning to read and write we already ha and, and speak. We already grasp the lyrics. That's the first thing we grasp. But we forget that in music, lyrics is not music. Lyrics is only the lyrics attached to the actual music. What makes something musical and different from speaking? It's actually the two things I just mentioned, the pitch and the rhythm. And without those two things, it's not music. Now I got a story to tell. That's not music. Now I got a story to tell. Suddenly it's music because I added pitch and rhythm. Now let's say I completely change the melody. I introduce a new set of words, but with the same lyrics, right? Here we go. Now I got a story to tell. That would require you to learn a new set of words, right? Not lyrics, it's the same lyrics. Now I got a story to tell. But the new set of words, it's the analogy I'm using for notes. You have to learn a new set of notes, a new timing, a new so a new pitch and a new rhythm. Appreciate how difficult singing is. That is the reason it's so hard. That is the reason many people think that they're already good when they're not good yet. It's because they've already learned to speak and read and write. So they know lyrics, but they mistakenly think that just knowing the lyrics means you understand the music and how to sing well. But understanding music is all about pitch and rhythm at a very high accuracy, which is what makes singers sound good. And it's the reason singing well is so hard. And it's the reason learning to sing well takes a lot of work. Okay, I'm Rashid Hayek, rbsinglessons.com. Bye.